Bride's Instagram for this week. It's none other than the Christian who said that Singaporeans don't need much space to have sex and that any man's contribution cannot be measured in dollars and cents. Meanwhile, she is living in private properties and she is collecting multi-million dollars as her salary. So, what did she say this week that caused her to appear on the headlines of the news? Well, it all started two days ago on Monday. This particular news appeared on Street Times. In this news, it was mentioned that about 150 Singaporeans, residents of Bishan Dwapayo GIC, they went to visit her because they were frustrated with the frequency of the list breakdown in their estate. According to the new article, list breakdown were at 5.2 lists per year. How can the list breakdown be 5.2? Well, it is because of a formula that can be found at the town council website. At the town council website, they actually have a particular formula and a set of ratings for the number of lists breakdown per estate in Singapore. She states that she is going to improve the situation and make the number of breakdowns be on average as per other lists which is at 4 lists per year. So what does 4 lists per year mean? Applying the formula that's been given on the town council website, it means 4 times 10 divided by 12, which gives you 3.33. This means a rating of 2 out of 5. Do you think that a rating of 2 out of 5 is considered good? And what do you think Singapore's reaction to this would be? Well, of course, most Singaporeans are brainwashed by the propaganda. They will think that it is only four lists per year. However, they do not know the definition of how it is being calculated. In addition to that, to find this particular formula, you actually have to search a lot because it's not so easily found. But if you take a screenshot of it, you can find it and you can follow the steps to do all the calculation and do the readings. They can own self, check on self, they will say that it's good, and they will make use of the mainstream media to brainwash and propagate and make people believe that they are doing a good job when they aren't. And the final last point is, do you think that this is how they should be treating Singaporeans? A lot of people will say, well, if you were to ask for better service, you've got to pay more. But do you know how much there are in our sinking fund? Do you know what is a sinking fund? And do you know how much money they have collected from our SNCC that was supposed to give to the maintenance of the list? Do you know that they actually collect money from our SNCC every single month? And this amount of money is actually more than what they spend and more than the services that they have provided to us. In fact, we have millions if not billions of dollars in our sinking fund. Do you know how much they are? And do you know what a sinking fund is? Leave your comment down in the comment section and remember to subscribe for more videos. Meanwhile, follow me on my social media. See you in the next video.